What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleticX.com. So have you heard of this guy right here? This is Haragi Sensei. Now, even if you haven't heard of him, maybe you've heard of his story at least. And if you haven't, you should because it's actually pretty interesting. He lost 28 pounds, but more so, he made this body transformation here in just five months. And he did it, most importantly, with just one four minute workout every single day. So now, the BS sensors in your head are probably going off saying, is that real? Well, I'm here to actually tell you that it is, but I think we need to look a little bit more closely at his story to see what really happened and what really helped him to make this transformation. So if you look at what he said, in five months he did one single workout, and actually repeated the same one over and over and over again, and it's the one you're looking at right here. It was simply a series of burpees, or I'm gonna make a correction here, squat thrusts, because he actually never went down to the ground, and we'll get back to that in a second. With just these squat thrusts alone, he performed them in a Tabata fashion, meaning 20 seconds on with 10 second rest. So he really didn't perform four minutes continuously of exercise, he actually just did 40 seconds out of every minute. However, in the five months, he never missed a day. And at the end of the five months, this is the transformation that he made. And as the articles talk about, he increased his muscle mass, he looks a lot better, and certainly he got a six pack, and he looks a lot leaner. But I want you guys to really focus on something really important here. If we were to look behind what happened, you see that there is maybe some reason to have the BS sensors go up, because it wasn't the burpees. And again, if he did actual burpees, maybe the muscle growth he saw would be even better. But what you didn't see was his actual behind the scenes dedication to his diet that didn't get played up as much in the article that was actually responsible for this transformation. I covered in a video before with Jesse how even if you took one of the most metabolically demanding exercises out there, the burpee, and performed it for a minute straight, you're gonna look at about a 15, 16, or at most 17 calorie burn per minute. And one of the limitations of relying on an exercise as intense as a burpee is that you just can't do it for many, many minutes. But even in this case, let's assume that he did them for the entire minute and burned 17 calories. At a maximum, after four minutes, he'd be doing just 68 calories of burning. Now, if I were to take out my calculator here and look at 68 calories and multiply it by 150 days, which is 30 days for five months, that's 10,200 calories. Divide that by what we know roughly is a pound, which is 3,500 calories, and you're looking at 2.91 pounds of the 28.6 that he supposedly burned. Now, that's probably about right. You're only gonna be able to do about a three pound loss just from doing four minutes of burpees a day. I don't care how consistent you are, but what he did do was it unlocked the ability for him to become consistent with his nutrition. And as I've said to you before, if you wanna get a six pack, that's your golden ticket. Be consistent with your nutrition and start to care about what you put in your mouth because I will make this even more simple for you. The four minutes of whatever the hell he decided to do are never going to match up with the other 23 hours and 56 minutes of his day. And it was the fact that he got control of the other 23 hours and 56 minutes in terms of what he put in his mouth that determined his transformation. If you wanna get a six pack, it's simple. It's always about your nutrition. But can you do it? It's hard because most people can't gain control over those 2356. His commitment to performing the four minutes a day every single day, come hell or high water, was enough to get him to start caring a hell of a lot more about what he did in the rest of his day. Just knowing that his work could be wasted by not supporting the consistency of effort with the consistency of eating was enough of a motivation to make him approach his nutrition differently this time. It made him quit lying to himself about wanting to lose weight and doing nothing about it and start focusing on a clear objective to get him started down that right path. But I will caution you, this approach won't work for everyone. The idea of doing a single burpee, let alone 150 straight days of them, just isn't really all that appealing. Right, Jesse? I hate burpees. See, even he hates burpees, as should you. So now what do you do? Well, how about if you try something else? Use those four minutes to have a better game plan. Don't just do the four minutes of burpees, because again, you're looking at 68 calories of burn, probably not gonna help you to harness the control over those other 2356. Instead, do this. Head to the website in the link below, which is our website. Now hold on a second. This is not just to get you to go over there. I gave you some instructions. It's gonna take you about four minutes to go through the list. That link is gonna give you a list of carbohydrates. Those starchy carbohydrates, right? The ones that we probably can't live without, and we still enjoy, and I'm not recommending that you try to cut them out because you'll never find long-term success. Pick about four or five of those that really resonate with you, that you really just don't wanna see them fall by the wayside. 
Two, probably a little bit more breakfast oriented in nature, whether it be oatmeal or bagels or toast or whatever. And then two that are more like nighttime or lunch type carbohydrates. Then look through the fibrous carbohydrate list right there after that one. And you can pick as many of these as you want and make sure that no matter what you do, you choose double the amount in terms of volume on your plate than you do those starchy carbohydrates. And then go through the protein list. And on the protein list, I'm going to tell you to choose as many as you like here too, and just sort of make sure you do one thing for me. Have one of them every single time you sit down to eat, whether it be a full meal or whether it be a snack. Now, if you do this, the only thing that comes after that is the portions that you put on your plate. And I just gave you a sense of the relative amount of portions comparing one to the other in terms of fibrous carbohydrates to starchy carbohydrates. But I actually go through and break this down through my plate method in a video that I'll link for you at the end of this one. And with the plate method, it's going to show you exactly how to portion these things on the plate to set you up for success every single time. Now, when you do this and you adopt the habit of doing this on a daily basis for just four minutes, a much better spent four minutes than even doing those dreaded burpees. It's going to work every single time. But do one more thing for me because there's one other thing that Haragai did that I think we're also overlooking, and it was accountability. See, before he even started this transformation, he pointed out, I think on his Twitter account, he was going to do this. Look back at me in five months and watch how I do. Now, that's not putting yourself out there. I don't know how many followers he had, but you know, at least telling some friends of yours or allowing yourself to put it out on your social media account, whether you have some followers on Instagram or whatever it might be, make yourself accountable. Because between having others have expectations for your success or failure, and also just the having to look at yourself in the mirror every day and hold yourself accountable, you will be surprised at how much you can change your body just by actually having something that you're holding yourself accountable to. Add the method to the motivation, and guys, I promise you, you'll get results. And getting a six pack will be as simple as I say it is. It will always be just about nutrition, but you have to figure out how to make it just about the nutrition and stop getting clouded by all the four minute workouts. By the way, if you look back at his pictures here, can I just point one more thing out? If you look at his arms, I'm not gonna say that they got a hell of a lot more muscular. If you look even in the before photo, his arm is actually still pretty much the same size, and you can still see some of that underlying tricep definition. And when you look again at the after photo here, it just looks like he dropped some of the body fat. Again, consistent with what I said he actually accomplished. And if you wanted to get a little bit more results in terms of building a bigger upper body, he should have taken those burpees all the way down to the ground like I advised. If you're looking to take your workouts to the next level, guys, and get a meal plan in the process, you can find them over at athletics.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up. Also, if you guys want to see that video I talked about with the plate method, I'll link it over here for you. All right, guys, I hope this is helpful. I'll be back here again in just a few days with another video. See you soon.